over the next three weeks, I'm gonna be showing you absolutely everything I did in order to lose weight. Change starts from the inside out. So for the next three weeks, I'm gonna be reading this book. It's called The Secret Life of Fat. I just think it's gonna help me get better perspective on how I need to change my diet or my exercise, or I mean, I don't know what I don't know. Probably gonna be a lot of gyms in here that are gonna just change the way I view my body, the way I view fat, and the way I view exercise. But throughout the next three weeks, I've given myself like mini goals. And if I make them, then I get little mini treats for myself too so without further ado this is what my body is looking like right now on day one I honestly I love my body but it's just like the side fat I have on my abdominals that I really want to go and like I get a little a little rolly roll so that's kind of the core of the motivation for my weight loss journey but I'll be putting all my measurements on the screen now yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it Looking like the world is your runway She can set it off like a gunplay Oh my Yeah Talk of the city with the body Always getting praised like it's Sunday This is actively kicking my ass I thought I was going to do this fall 3.30 But it's a 10 3.30 for me <laughs> 10 more minutes left Sweaty, I am. Oh my god. Wow, it's crazy. Name your Eli, but and I woke up pretty like feeling just really trim in my midsection so I feel like maybe it's working it's working maybe what do you think let's go to the gym I actually realized that I never fully explained what I was doing in the gym <laughs> well the cardio that I've been doing for the past couple of days has been the 12 3 30 and if you haven't heard of it, it was a pretty popular workout here on YouTube about two years ago. Essentially, you walk on the treadmill at an incline of 12, a speed of 3, and then you do that for 30 minutes. My goal for week one is to just get in the gym every day, and 12 through 30 makes it easy to do that. So sweaty, oh my god. gagging because it's the special time in New York where it starts to smell like hot flaming garbage and I can't I can't live like this <laughs> challenge and I wanted to kind of just like sit down talk to you guys because we're like halfway through so essentially for the last 12 days what I've been doing is just adding the 12 3 30 workout on top of the workouts that I regularly do and honestly y'all I'm already seeing a difference like look I'm like Oof. I wore these shorts a couple of weeks ago in a vlog and they were just so tight and so uncomfortable and now like look at them like i just feel so happy so in addition to doing the 12 3 30 every day i also want to start doing like a personal workout that was truly my goal to create my own personal fitness routine and so this week i want to start adding in some stuff for my arms 
that are just a little flubby. So on top of the 1230, I'm also going to do, let's say maybe 12 reps of five pounds for 10 reps. I don't know. I am a yoga instructor, not like a personal trainer. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do today in the gym and I'll let you know. Um, and then in addition to like the 12 3 30 and like working on my fitness, I've also been reading that book. Actually, let me grab it for you. This book right here called The Secret Life of Fat. And honestly, I have learned so much. It's like transformed my eating habits and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Well, what has been really great about this book is just learning about the science of fat. So one of the things I've been implementing, you can see I'm like nearly a little over halfway done. I'm actually pretty close to the end. Sorry, my cat's doing so. What has really been helpful is just kind of learning a little bit about nutrition, honestly. So we have all this bacteria in our gut and essentially if you eat a lot of fatty foods, get more calories out of them because the microbiomes, the bacteria in your gut is accustomed to extracting fat from that food versus if you primarily eat like a lot of fruit, vegetables, I think in here it specifically says like oats, bananas, random healthy foods that we should all be eating. When you do like slip up and have that slice of pizza now and again, like your body won't get as much calories out of it because your body is used to eating more fibrous foods like leafy greens and vegetables so that's also something that I'm like okay like I can't mess up once in a while but I should always try to have like a salad at least once a day and then also what I've been doing like last night I did kind of mess up and have a cheese quesadilla but I asked the wait staff if they could add veggies in it they said oh yeah sure so they put in like some onions and peppers and then I got served with guac, sour cream, and pico de cayo, and I literally just ate the guac and the pico de cayo, and I like left the sour cream alone. So I felt like these little wins, you know, make a huge difference over, you know, the course of, I guess, 12 days. Also, I did go to DC for the weekend, so I did have two days in which I didn't work out at all, and then one day that I did Soul Cycle while I was there, it's all about just like getting back into the habit as soon as possible. So I came back, I did take, you know, the Monday off, but now I'm back in the gym. And I also think like, it's really hard for me to work out in the evening. So I appreciate, and I will actually do the 12, 3, 30 if I do it the first thing in the morning. I've learned for myself that like, if I, don't do it in the morning and I start doing other things and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do it in the afternoon or in the evening, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, I have to do it in the morning. So try to find a time that works for you, like whether you are an afternoon like workout person during your lunch break or if you like to work out at the end of the day to kind of unwind, whatever it is, find a time that works for you and just commit to it. All right, I'm done rambling, let's go to the gym. Hello! 
I figured I would get on here and like talk to you guys because I have not really been talking to you guys much during this challenge just compiling a bunch of clips of me working out so right now I feel like I'm feeling seeing the most results like in my center core and like I feel like I've lost a little weight on my sides but not as much as I would like like I still get that roll but I do think it takes a lot more effort like I have to like bend and twist all over to get it I got this little sweat band as a reward for myself after finishing my first week but it did take a really long time to get it here so I just got it now and it's July 19th I do also want to get myself like a little ring or something just for making this commitment to myself but I'm really proud I'm going to put the link to the sweatband below. It's going to be my first time wearing it during today's little walking workout. I do wish I was seeing more results in my side obliques, like my side abdominals. But I'm truly feeling the most results from the walking in my like butt and thighs, which wasn't really a problem area for me but i'm really happy to see how much improvement i've had like i have had stretch marks on my butt my entire life and like i feel like i don't even really have stretch marks anymore like the 12 3 30 has like lifted my butt so much it's like crazy just doing the walking like it's just a nice like kind of like me time so I'm probably going to end this on the 21st day, which is in three days, but I think it's going to be more of a lifelong journey. And I'll probably come on here at the end of the video just to talk about everything I learned from reading The Secret Life of Fat. So without further ado, let's go work out for today. After the 21st it's the 27th of July yes July so let's just do like a final weigh-in and then I'll give you my thoughts I my voice oh my god <laughs> I decided I'm gonna do um, like a review of the book all about fat in a different video just for simplicity purposes but yeah let's weigh in So that means I lost a grand total of five pounds if I'm doing the math correctly in July and I'm really happy about my progress. I definitely did a lot more strength training and by strength training I mean I took various boot camp classes and yoga sculpt classes at Core Power. Literally the one clip you guys saw of me lifting weights at the gym was the only time I lifted weights at the gym in my building so I do want to try to do that a little bit more in August. I think it would really help with my progress. But yeah, this is actually really fun and I feel like doing this few days helps keep me accountable. And I also like that this is realistic. Like I've never been the type of person to drop like 20 pounds in like 30 days. Like my body is very slow and steady wins the race. So I'm really happy with this progress. It basically means I lost like a pound a week or maybe a little bit more than a pound a week. I don't know, I have to do the math later. But I'm gonna add my final measurements on the screen now, and then maybe do like a little side-by-side. some clips of some stuff I ate and how I changed my eating habits but I do think that's gonna be another video as well but a little sneak preview here and then last thing I was 
treating myself every week when I felt like I hit my goals. So the first week I got that waist trainer that I showed you guys. The second week I got like a bunch of these Amazon workout sets. I got a brown one, a cream one, a purple one. Honestly, because they're on sale, it was prime day and I couldn't miss out on a good deal. And I thought it kind of helped with the goals I was trying to do. Oh, and I got chocolate peanut butter protein powder. That was also a really good decision. And for the final week, week three, I didn't really get myself anything. But today, I decided I'm going to get myself a ring. So if you, or if I get it soon, I think I'm probably going to get it today. And I'm vlogging today. So I will insert a clip if I get it today. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like weight loss content, I guess I'm a weight loss content girly now. I don't know. Maybe just like health, wellness, fitness, stuff like that. I am a yoga instructor, so I feel uniquely qualified. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Love you. Bye.